Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing another video on Today is Periodicity. Bam! Today we're talking about electronegativity. And the symbol for electronegativity is that scripted X right there. So make sure you look at that. Okay, electronegativity measures the relative strength with which atoms attract valence electrons in a chemical bond. It's an arbitrary scale from 0 to 4. Fluorine is assigned the largest value of a 4.0, just like a perfect GPA on a 4-point scale, which means fluorine will draw electrons towards itself when bonded to another element, forming a charge separation, or a dipole. Okay, cesium is assigned the smallest value, and depending on what table you look at, it's either 0.7 or 0.8, which means that cesium does not like electrons. In fact, it will readily give up those electrons to a more electronegative element and more than likely form an ionic bond. So again, fluorine is a non-metal. It loves electrons. Cesium is a metal. Okay, it hates electrons. Those are extra ones. The trend with electronegativity is the following. It is that the values increase in going up a group and increase in going across a period from left to right. Okay, Electronegativity will play a central role when bonding of atoms occur, especially with Lewis dot structures. We're going to talk about that in a future issue here, but the least electronegative element goes smack dab in the middle, but never hydrogen. That's the rule. Okay, so here's a table or a graphic of electronegativity on the y-axis and atomic number on the x-axis. I'm going to highlight some elements here you, for you, and this is in the same group going down the group. So as you go down the group, then the electronegativity is, of course, going to decrease because fluorine is the most electronegative element. Okay, and you can look at these trends in either of two ways. You can look at it as you go down a group, they decrease, or in this case, you can look at it and go, as it goes up the group, it increases in electronegativity. So don't get confused by those two things. Here is a period. This happens to be um, period, so period three. So look at that right there, and you should see that as you go from left to right, then what happens to the electronegativity values? They increase across that period, and you should see the same trend with the other periods as well. Here is a periodic table with the Pauling scale of electronegativities, because Linus Pauling came up with these. I'm going to highlight a few here, and that is fluorine is the most electronegative, and it is 4.0 or 3.98, depending on which one you're looking at. Okay, Oxygen is number two in electronegativity. That means oxygen loves electrons almost as much as fluorine. Then we have a tie for, if you will, third and fourth place, and that is nitrogen and chlorine share the same value of electronegativity. Then there's another tie, and that next tie is carbon and sulfur. Okay, and that's 2.5. Notice it's decreasing as you move away from fluorine. I'm going to highlight one other here, and that is on the far left-hand side, and that's hydrogen. Hydrogen is an electronegativity value of 2.1. It really belongs, that hydrogen electronegativity belongs somewhere in the middle of the periodic table, but we won't worry about that right now. You should see that I've highlighted some other selective electronegativity values so that you can see this pattern here. Cesium being the lowest, of course, okay, because it is the one that's furthest away from fluorine. All right, now, as you go up a group and as you go to the right across a period from left to the right, you should see this generic pattern. That is, it increases in electronegativity going up a group or from left to right within a period on the periodic table. Hopefully that makes sense for you. All right, I am the crazy hat chemist, and uh, I am wearing a crazy hat. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate that. Please pass on my videos to other potential chemistry students. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.